betrayal, the journalistic betrayal can be sent to homes in 50 countries. Fantastic. Just what I need. Every single sentence that has been in print has included some transformation of that press conference into a negative aspect to character assassinate me, to degrade me, to undermine my film, and to criticize me in every way possible, uh, even in invented ways. Uh, as a person, I'm a cheesy, small-minded uh, jerk, like everybody says, great. It started with uh, me being a person who could not function in a daily way the way most people can function. I had extreme panic, extreme fear, extreme anxiety and depression from uh, teenage years. I was homebound. I couldn't leave the house. Friday was a bad luck day for me. Colgate toothpaste was evil. I was a sick person with sick emotional problems in, in a long nervous breakdown. Once I got the job, then I became competitive in what it was that I was doing, just like dishwashing, where I became the best fucking dishwasher of New York City history. The only fucking dishwasher to ever get reviewed in a magazine about food. They commented on how fucking clean the place was. That was me cleaning the place. I wish I never made the brown bunny. It ruined my life for the past three years. It ruined my body. I'm an out of shape old man. I've lost a lot of my hair. I have gray hairs now. My body looks terrible. I haven't had a date or a relationship with a girl in four fucking years. I haven't really made out in a real way with anybody. I lived in a hotel out of a suitcase for three years to make the film. My whole life fell apart. So yes, it was nice being in the cinema last night being booed for two hours. Yes, it was nice. I don't mean to complain or anything. I'm, I'm a lucky person and